Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share five tips for sharing your screen in virtual meetings. Now, some of these tips will be focused on Excel. However, you can use all of these tips and strategies with any application that you're sharing. And the whole goal of these tips is to help increase engagement with your meetings. That's to help your users and viewers and attendees pay attention to what you're saying. So we wanna give them the best chance to see your screen and also save time with not having to go back and answer questions or repeat things because they can't see your screen. And I'll share tips for both Windows and Mac. I will also be using Zoom. However, these tips will work for any virtual meeting software or application. Now, my first tip is to increase the scaling or resolution of your screen so your audience can read your screen, especially if you're using a high res or 4K monitor. Here's an example here of where I was sharing my screen using a Surface Pro, which has a higher res screen at 2736 by 1824 with the scaling set at 100%. And what we're seeing here is the viewer screen on a standard 1080 monitor. And as you can see here, the text is very small, the mouse cursor is tiny, and so it's going to be hard for your audience audience to view your screen and read whatever you're sharing, especially if it's in Excel. And this is especially important if you're presenting to the public or potential clients or an audience where you don't know their screen size. Here's a report of over 5 million visitors to the Excel Campus website recently, and it shows that the majority of people, 59%, are using a laptop that has a resolution that's less than 1080p. So their screen would actually be smaller and be more difficult to view than the screen I just showed. So to fix this, we can increase the scaling of our screen. To do that in Windows, you can just right click on the desktop and choose display settings. That will open up this window here. And if we scroll down, we can see that our display resolution is 1920 by 1080. I'm using a regular standard size 1080 monitor and the scaling is set to 100%. Now for presentations, I like to change this to 150% for a 1080 monitor. When you do that, the screen will refresh, and as you can see, the text and everything got larger. You might also need to close and reopen some apps for the scaling to take effect. But now if we jump back over to Excel, another good tip here is that you'll want about 20 rows visible on a blank worksheet. And as you can see here, that's now what I have since I've bumped up the scaling. So we have about 20 rows visible. So that's a good rule of thumb. Now, if you have more than 20 rows to present or share, I'm going to talk about some tips for zooming in and out as well. I also have a chart here that just shows different screen resolution sizes and what you might want to set the scaling to in order to scale up to about a 720 resolution. 1280 by 720 resolution is about what we want to get to to make sure we cover all audiences and their screen sizes. And I'll make this file available for free download and put a link to that in the description below this video so you can figure out what you need to set your scaling to for your specific screen size. To change the scaling on the Mac, we'll go to the Apple icon in the top left corner, click About This Mac, then we'll go to the Displays tab, and as you can see here, I'm using a MacBook Pro with a 13-inch display, resolution is 2560 by 1600, which is a higher resolution display. So we'll click Display Preferences, That'll open up this screen here, and on the Display tab, we can click Scaled. And that will allow us to choose the scaling here. If you hover over the larger text option, you can see over there on the left that this is going to look like 1024 by 640, which is great for smaller resolution screens. So we'll go ahead and click this, and then click OK. That will refresh the screen, and as you can see, everything's gotten bigger. If we jump back over to Excel, you can also see that we have about 20 rows displayed here on a blank worksheet. So this will be great for smaller resolution screens. My next step is to reduce unnecessary distractions. So here I'm sharing a dashboard, and we might just be talking about one specific chart on this dashboard. Now there's a lot going on the, on this screen here, but we just wanna focus on this one chart, sales by salesperson. One quick way you can do that in Excel is first I'm going to select the chart then on the View tab of the ribbon, we can click the Zoom to Selection button. And that's going to zoom in to the selection. This could be a chart or an object, or it could be a range of cells that you have selected. But of course, this makes it very clear to see what we're talking about, and there are a lot less distractions. Now, if you wanna get back to the regular Zoom, of course, you can just, on the View tab, hit 100% here. 
Another tip is to hold down the control key and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. So I can hold control and zoom in and out. And that might make this entire dashboard a little bit easier to see. And of course, you can also use the zoom features down here in the bottom right hand corner of the application window. And if you need more screen real estate, obviously you want to maximize the window that you're sharing. You can also hide the ribbon by double clicking, double left clicking any of the tabs here. That will collapse the ribbon and that gives you more screen real estate here. You can also on the view tab, turn off the formula bar and even the headings. If you click here in the uh, worksheet, you can turn off those headings as well, which would be the column letters and row numbers. So that will give you a lot more real estate. And of course, when you want to bring the ribbon back, you can just double left click it here to then expand it fully. My next tip is to make your mouse pointer easier to see. And one way you can do that is to just slow down your mouse movements. As you can see, I'm moving the mouse really quickly here and it's very hard to follow. So one thing you can do is force your mouse to slow down and you can do that within the settings. So you can click the start menu here and then type mouse and that will take us to the mouse settings or click mouse settings. And then within mouse settings, if we uh, scroll down, we'll go to additional mouse options. And here on the pointer options, we can actually control the speed of the mouse cursor. So I can move it over to slow, and then it makes it very difficult to move my mouse quickly. You might wanna set it a little bit faster so you can get around the screen quickly if you need to, but this will force you to slow your mouse down. Just hit okay or apply when you're done. And then you can also make the cursor size larger. So adjust mouse and cursor size here. You can change the pointer size. This will make it much larger and easier for your audience to see your cursor. And to change the mouse settings on the Mac, we'll click the Apple button in the top left corner, go to System Preferences, and then under Mouse, we can change the tracking speed right here. So we can just set this to faster or slower to slow down our tracking speed or our mouse speed. If you want to change the pointer size, we'll go back to system preferences. Under accessibility, we'll go to display. And right here, we can change the cursor size. So again, we can enlarge it when we're sharing our screen. And that'll make it easier for our viewers to see. My next tip is to use the annotate feature in your virtual meeting software. So I'm using Zoom here and there's an annotate button that opens this toolbar and allows you to access all types of tools where you can draw on your screen. So here I can just uh, draw something on my screen to bring attention to it. Now it's not actually drawing in Excel, it's just drawing on the screen that I'm sharing. And this allows your viewers to then set focus on specific areas. There's all types of different tools here with different drawing objects and text that you can write on the screen. Of course, you can change the formatting and the colors here as well. You can also undo these and then clear them. And you'll notice with Zoom, they have this really great feature that allows your viewers to draw on your screen as well. So if they wanna bring attention to something on your screen, they can actually draw on your screen. And this saves a ton of time when you're in a meeting. I highly encourage you to test it out at your next meeting. And then of course, when you're done clearing your drawings there, you click the mouse button to set focus back and then you're able to select items on your screen. And finally, I have some tips for increasing engagement with your audience. First of all, ask and answer questions. This will make sure your audience doesn't fall asleep, especially if they don't like looking at data and charts as much as we do. Uh, next, share an Excel tip or two. Everybody loves to learn a new Excel tip. And of course, if you wanna learn more Excel tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a free weekly email newsletter that covers tips and tricks to help you learn Excel. If you'd like to learn how to create this dashboard here, I have another video series on an introduction to pivot tables and dashboards. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. And finally, I've created a checklist for you here for next time you're preparing for a virtual meeting. You can use this as a checklist. It covers everything we talked about today, and you can also print this out. So I hope these tips have helped you. Of course, if you have any additional tips or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.